Once logged into your Graph CMS project, instead of the model, you can access the slug field. If we click the slug field, we can give this a name. Let's just use slug in this case. Then when we scroll down, we can see here as part of the slug options that we can generate this value from a template. So let's use title as our template and click create. Now we can see that this slug field has now been added to the available fields for this model. Now let's create a new blog post and we'll give it a title. As we can see here, the field slug has automatically been populated. We can clear this or we can regenerate. We can also regenerate when we make any changes to this field. Then if we go ahead and save and publish, you'll see now the value of this persists and we can make any changes as we normally would through the content editor with the slug field. Now in the same way we would make a GraphQL query to get our blog posts and the title, we can now also query for that field slug.